tiny knife. Because the blog is all about the tiny knife. See, I knew on a butch milk food blog that there would be a tool just like that tool you have right there. Tiny knife. Okay. So you're going to open up that whiskey. And we're making spaghetti western meatballs, cowboy meatballs. Um, and let's just pour, just start pouring. We're not going to pour very much, but just start pouring and I'll say when. When. Okay. So we're going to soak this ground beef in um, Crown Canadian whiskey. And I think, here's where I don't hold your camera anymore. you got to get your hands right into it. It's cold. Doesn't feel so nice, but it's worth it. So normally, instead of whiskey, it would be red wine that I would soak my ground beef in, or ground buffalo, or what have you. But um, today we're going to change the recipe quite a bit because not only do we have someone who can't drink red wine, we also have two folks who can't have bread crumbs because they're celiac or have some sort of meat restricted diet. So we're going to try um, corn flour. Right. Um, we have Genoa style pesto, um, which is just a pesto that's mostly sun dried tomatoes along with the basil and pine nuts. And you can find it a lot of places, probably most supermarkets, but definitely any Italian supermarket. So we're going to empty like half a jar, which would be maybe, maybe just under a cup right into our meat. There we go. Mm, we're going to get some eggs. Um, okay. So I think for this much meat, we probably want, what do you think, three eggs? Three. Okay. Do you compost? You bet. Not the eggshells? No. Okay, I'm going to throw them in the garbage. Then. Great. Eggshells. I don't know. Because they don't, it takes a lot million years for them to go away. Oh, okay. Jeez. All right, so we got eggs. We got, mm-hmm, something looking like that. Um, just for kick, we're going to put in some Frank's Red Hot. Never heard of it. What? If you're gonna do hot sauce in that like buffalo wing, hot hot mm -hmm. spaghetti western sort of thing. Um, and then here's our real experiment: this is the corn flour for our lovely friends with bee allergies. I don't even know how much to put in. We're just gonna guess. Why? Yeah, right. That's interesting. Um. So. Ooh. That there's about a quarter cup. That there's about half. That's about a cup. So let's say we're going to do a cup okay. of this alternative flour. Do you have a little? Yep. Okay. <laughs> a little clippy do. <clears throat> That's a total breast shot. So I thought since I was cooking and the party has a Wild Western theme, I would dress up um, like someone that might win the blue ribbon at a county fair. Holy shit. Alright, so we're just going to get in here. Like I said, it's cold? really cold. You're going to suffer. It's cold, isn't it? Do you want to try it out? Uh, I'm going to hold the camera. And how, how much do you want to do that? Like how mixy-mixy? Well, you want to get it uniform. So right now you can still see the like glisten of egg yeah. yolk on the meat. So you don't want that at all. And you can still see places oh where it God. hasn't been worked totally through. reminds me of that movie last night. What? It's a good sound. Maybe we can use this and put it for something else. <laughs> I wish you could do that. Oh, you got some. Yeah, let's set that up. Can you open Rick's hamburger? No. 
You can't overmix it. You can't overmix anything. This is Italian cooking. You can, you don't overmix. If you mix and you mix with your hands, you can't overmix anything. So you see, it's starting to get like this really nice, sticky. Starting to get more uniform. Okay. And what if it was? What if it's not uh, getting sticky? Like, what if somebody put in like not enough of the flour stuff? How, well, you can add more bread. I would really recommend breadcrumbs unless you're right. cooking for someone with, like, special diet needs. Store-bought breadcrumbs? Just a bag of breadcrumbs? Yeah, yeah, I would say breadcrumbs. And if you can find actual, like, breadcrumbs that are mixed in with Italian seasoning, good. Only if they're fresh. Um, but if not, I would say breadcrumbs and then, like, salt, pepper. You know, a nice smoked salt can be a little special. You can put other things in besides the Genoa pesto. You can put like a black olive tapenade and red wine is pretty nice. Um, red pepper paste, cut up capers, whatever you like. Oh, capers? Really, I mean it's a yeah. ball. Like any, you can make anything into a ball as long as you mix it in good enough. All right, so this is about it. Right here. So what I would suggest too is just like turning the entire mixture over and see you'll find little places where it didn't quite get mixed in. Yeah, there's another place where this corn flour is a little bit tricky. Thanks, Rob. All right, so I think we're ready to make balls. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wash my very freezing cold hands. Is that what you want me to do? Whew. So next thing we need to do is get um, a baking sheet, but we're gonna be very careful because there's already cake in the oven.